Hi everyone, it's Kylie from Painted Wing. In today's video, I'm going to be painting a few different birds with watercolors. Sometimes I'm unsure what to paint, I like to flip through field guides. So this book here focuses on birds found in the eastern region of North America. One of the birds I'll be painting today is a female cardinal. I paint cardinals pretty often because they're highly requested, but I don't often paint female cardinals. But they are quite beautiful. Most of their bodies are beige color with hints of reds on it. I'll probably be using yellow ochre and raw umber for the base colors. Another bird that I'll be painting is a pine warbler. I'm not sure if I've painted a pine warbler before, but I paint other birds of similar colors, and I find painting this coloration pretty difficult. And that's because the olive color can be mistaken for dingy paint. And I think I'm going to be painting either a house finch or a purple finch. They are quite similar looking birds. I really enjoy the contrasting brown and rose colors. And then the final bird I'll be painting is a black-capped chickadee. This is another bird I paint quite often, and that's honestly because I see them all the time. On the days where it's a little nicer, I've been seeing them in my backyard flying around. I'm going to be painting these birds in a similar way I paint all my bird paintings. I'll be concentrating details on the faces of the birds and then abstracting the bodies. I will also be painting all of these on Arches cold pressed paper, and the block that I'm using is 8 by 10 inches. Now that I have my sketch drawn, I'm going to start with the painting. For these paintings, I'll be using round brushes by the brand Princeton. I'll be starting with the yellow chest on the bird. The reason I'm starting here is because yellow can be contaminated quite easily. So I'm just applying this wet paint to dry paper. For the bodies of the birds, I'll be moving quite quickly. I'm just trying to capture the essence of the bird here. I'm not focusing on the details too much. And by picking up my pace, I can hope to avoid overworking things. Now I'm going to start adding in that olive green. And then I always like to use a blow dryer while painting. This helps control the drying process and also speed things up. By using this blow dryer, I know precisely how wet my paint is. And then here I'm using a wet on dry technique to add details. I'm also using a very small brush to get those details in. And now I'm painting some fine lines for a wing shape. I like the simplified drawing-like quality of the wing shape here. It gives contrast to the realistic details on the face, and it also contrasts against the loose wash of the body. And then here I'm going to add some spots after things dry. And then here's the completed warbler. And now I'll be working on the house finch. I'll just be using a similar process to the last painting.
For this painting, I'll be adding an abstracted branch. I'll be creating vertical lines to represent the branch. And then a few paint splatters. And now I'm just going to add a tail peeking behind the branch. I often start with the face of the portraits that I'm painting. And the main reason I start with the face is because it will dry quicker than the wet washes I create later. And even though I usually use a blow dryer to dry things quicker, I still don't want to accidentally dip my hand into wet paint. Alright, here's the final results of the chickadee. And finally the cardinal. I'm going to start off with my brightest color, which is the yellow ochre. And I'm going to add some details.
For the tail feathers, I'm going to start off by loading my brush up with red paint, and then I'll dip just the end into brown paint. Alright, and then here's that final painting. And then here's the other ones again. Thank you so much for watching. I might do a full tutorial of a songbird soon, so let me know in the comments what bird you'd like me to paint. Otherwise, I hope you guys have a rest of your day. Bye now.